Wildcats win the faceoff as they won most in the third period. Pass complete. Lipkin has him in. It's for the Well, you just saw the exciting highlights from the national championship game, uh, and I am here with a man who was there on the ice uh, refing that game, Tyler Liffrig. I want to thank you for being on the show. Thanks for having me. A Williston alum, a resident here in Bismarck. Obviously, getting to that stage in that title game, um, tell me about uh, the process of getting selected for that and how you were able to be part of that Frozen Four. Yeah, the process is its a lot of luck more than anything, especially when you work a conference of the NCHC, you know, we've been historically a powerhouse um, because once you get to the NCAA postseason, you can't work your own conference. So this is the first time in 10 years of league existence that we did not have a team there representing the NCHC. So therefore it opened up the doors for an officiating crew to be from the NCHC. So getting into that game, obviously, um Tell me about the nerves or whatever nerves are there. You know, obviously you're doing your job, uh, making sure to officiate, but that's, that's, that kind of stage has got to be something thrilling, uh, even for an officiating crew. Absolutely. It was, it was a completely different experience. You know, I've been in the league 10 years, done a lot of college hockey games, but nothing compared to this one for obvious reasons. But I remember going out for uh, lunch as a crew on that Saturday, and we usually come back, maybe catch a little snooze. Well, there was no snooze, and I was laying down, just twiddling thumbs, waiting to get ready, go to the game, and then finally it was time to get ready and started getting my suit on, and then everything just kind of stopped, and it was just another hockey game, so it, it, it was it was awesome. In that overtime period, obviously, you know, over in a blink, but take me through, well, you know, obviously, uh, where were you on the play when you were seeing that all unfold? Well, I, I dropped the opening draw, so the first draw went right into the bench, and then we had to reset, do another draw right then. Um, they wanted back to the D-man, the off-winger was cutting across, and the, you know, the rest is history. I don't know if I even got to the blue line before the puck was in the back of the net. One of your guys got taken out at that yeah, point, too. <laughs> yeah, he did. It was great positioning. But unfortunately, the Minnesota player bumped into the goalie and ended up uh, going down and sliding into uh, referee Joe Sullivan. Yeah, he, he was okay. I'm sure. he, he was good, yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. Well, tell me about how you got into to refing. You've been in, uh, uh, a ref here for quite a while now, back, I think, since 06. So yeah. tell me how you got involved. What, what, uh, what, what got you excited about hockey refing? Well, back in Willis, you know, it started at a young age for me. Um, I grew up, believe it or not, in a basketball gym. Uh, following my dad officiate uh, all the years um, when I was real little. So that was my first exposure to officiating. Uh, and then kind of growing up, you know, I, I playing sports, getting to know some of the different officials or umpires, uh, whoever they are, um, it just kind of drew me to it a little bit. And then when I had the opportunity to, um, you know, start doing it myself when I was probably 14, 15 years old, doing the little tykes on the ice. Uh, that's where it really started. And then it just kind of took off from there, came down to Bismarck, uh, refed a lot of hockey on the weekends, but there were some local guys here that uh, really said, you know, you should maybe look at doing this so that kind of the next level. So they opened up the door to some uh, camps, um, and I went out and did the camps, and then before you know it, I'm doing junior hockey, working a Thursday night in Bismarck, North Dakota, Friday, Omaha, Nebraska, and then Saturday in Aberdeen. You know, so I was a road warrior for many years, and kind of towards the end of my junior hockey officiating career, you know, I was, um, I was married at that time, and then the league, the NCHC was forming, so there was gonna be an opportunity to go ahead and apply, and I was fortunate enough to work in front of a lot of the right guys that have a lot of uh, officiating experience, and I was selected to be hired, and you know, it's been a great 10-year run now. We, we come in an era now here in North Dakota, we're seeing hockey grow, we're still looking for refs all the time, I'm sure, especially those JV games, all those different games all around the state, you know. Pitch to me, obviously, and pitch to the people who, who may be on the fence about hockey refing and, and why they should get involved, especially with you. You know, you got involved at a young age as well. Yeah, it, and like I said, um, it's just a group of guys that you get to work with. Um, it's the experience to be able to stay around a game and be involved for many years afterwards. That's what it's about for me. Um, you know, we're short of numbers, and that's across all sports. And we can always use more guys. I'll gladly sit down with anybody that's thinking about it and talk to them about it and why they should be doing it. Because it is, it is a great opportunity. And, you know, as a young kid, it's an easy way to go out and make a few bucks. 
certainly a good message there, and obviously the memories are going to be lasting for a long time for you. Yeah, it, w it was a really good experience. I'm very fortunate, and a lot of it is because of my wife back home. She's, there's a lot of weekends where she's hanging out with three kids to be able to allow me to go out and officiate hockey. Yeah, I earn a little bit of income, but trust me, the, she'd much rather have me at home but she appreciates it and she is uh, she's a warrior for that. So I, I owe her a big thank you. Certainly. Uh, Tyler, I want to appreciate you being on the show. Thank you for being on After the Whistle. Yeah, thanks for having me. We'll be right back with more After the Whistle next.